The vehicle of the future arrives in a very unique way, on the back of a trailer. Actually, that's for my benefit to allow me to enjoy the full 200 mile range before we fill up. You're dropping this off for me at the beginning of a long weekend. What, what should I experience? You should experience a, a driving experience that's similar to what a normal car does, except you're doing it with no petroleum whatsoever. The car is quiet, it's smooth, it's powerful. While I'm supposed to treat this fuel cell powered Chevy Equinox like any other car, our walk around shows it's anything but. Did you ever see anything like this under your hood? Yeah, so this is the actual fuel cell in there. Yes, this is the actual fuel cell. You if know, you need a quick primer on a fuel cell, it combines the hydrogen in a tank with the oxygen in the air as they create H2O, water, and it gives off electricity and that runs the electric motor that powers the vehicle. Inside, the starting procedure is a little different. No engine means no cranking. Now let's go for a spin. Electric motors have that unique futuristic whir, very quiet at low speeds. At driving speeds it feels like any other small SUV, maybe a little faster off the dime, and that's typical for electric vehicles. My drive is part of a million miles that real people have driven GM fuel cell vehicles as part of something they call Project Driveway, giving real people fuel cell vehicles for a few weeks to get their feedback. Now they allowed me to do the same thing on a smaller scale, allowing some of my friends to get behind the wheel and get some fuel cell experience. It's smooth, which, um, you know, you always wonder. Here we go. <laughs> I can't believe the acceleration in this. <laughs> this is amazing. You don't get the full experience without doing a fill up. It's filling. The main difference is really a harder connection with a hose. Other than that, it's like filling up an ordinary tank. The whole experience only a little bit longer than today's gasoline fueling. Now I was warned that I might not get noticed, and I wasn't. People in green, crazy California notice vehicles like this, but here in Michigan we're used to seeing all sorts of different kinds of cars and trucks on the road. Now General Motors, of course, lately has gotten a lot of publicity for the Chevy Volt, an extended range electric vehicle, but they are still working on fuel cell programs. In fact, both of these programs really go together hand in hand. These million miles we've experienced on the Chevy Equinox fuel cell, all these learnings went into the Volt's engineering team to make its launch, you know, much more um, uh, reliable launch, you know, with much more significance. And then the Volt's launch and the Volt's experience will make the next generation fuel cell better. GM and other automakers are now working on getting the reliability up, costs down, and the package smaller. And they're currently deciding what package their next generation fuel cells will go into. I'm Autobeat reporter Jeff Gilbert.